spiritually, I'd say that at the beginning of the pandemic, I started out really strong and felt like I wanted to be kind of a beacon of hope in my neighborhood and to my friends. And so I was extremely active, just <laughs> making connections and sending little videos and saying hello to people. But as it's worn on, I've gotten tired. I love to have people in our home and that has pretty much gone away. We love, you know, we love to meet with people in person and it's just, it's so much harder to connect, especially when uh, people are tired and they're, um, they're afraid already. <laughs> and so like to get to that place and be, sometimes there has to be presence before you can get to that place with somebody. And so I'm feeling a big loss in being able to connect with people because it's all digital. When you've been involved in ministry, being the ones who create encounters with God for other people, there can be something that makes it a little bit, I don't know, habit or rote. And so having somebody pull me out of my comfort zone a little bit and say, hey, come meet with God in this way that you don't necessarily put together on a Sunday or a Wednesday has been just really helpful for that soul check-in is so important especially for somebody who is a go-getter and a doer to stop and go how is it with you really uh is really really helpful to me. so the other thing that i love about it is it's this circle of friends that i know are for me and that when great stuff happens they're cheering with me and when the when the hard stuff happens they're in my corner and so that has been a game changer um, it keeps you going on the hard days and it gives you kind of a cheering squad on the good days.